Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to set up Next.js, which I'm sure must have been really exciting for you. And in this video, we're going to learn about how to set up Tailwind, Post.CSS, and SaaS for a project. Let's continue. So I also wrote a blog on this, and we're going to use that blog. So we can install SaaS, and then Tailwind, and then Post.CSS. So let's go ahead and So for those of you who don't know what Tailwind CSS is, it's basically utility first CSS framework. And why should we even use it? Why don't we why don't we go for bootstrap? Well, it's because it's first of all it's utility first. It's highly customizable and it uses the low level CSS framework and it gives you all of the building blocks you need to build bespoke design without annoying opinionated styles you have to fight override. If you ask me what I love about in terms of features is that it allows us to purge your CSS. Okay. For example, if you use only certain classes, it's only going to import the CSS related to those classes uh, at the build time and it's not going to include everything while comparatively with bootstrap it's just going to include all of the CSS no matter if if you're just using few of the classes right so so it's pretty interesting and you're going to love it I've been using it for quite some time now and I absolutely love it so so let's quickly dive in okay so what's the first thing we need to do? We need to install SaaS. What I would rather do is I'll take this whole thing. I'll go back to my terminal. I'm going to stop my development server, clear it. So I'm going to do npm install SaaS. So let's install SaaS first. And just to let you know that the, uh, just to let you know that next is support SaaS by default. We don't have to add any specific configuration for that. All we have to do is just install SaaS and that's it. Next.js supports it out of the box. Okay, awesome. Now we're going to install all of these packages. So what does it include? Well, it includes the uh, Tailwind CSS package, post CSS flex uh, bug fixes, post CSS preset NV, post CSS import, pre CSS. So you can check out and read more information about you know, what all, all of these packages do. I'm not going to spend time on that since it's an advanced uh, theme development in React. And I'm going to continue further. So the next thing we're going to do is basically, so the next thing we're going to do is basically add some configuration to our post CSS config file. So we'll create one. So we'll go to our, into our projects directory you can see we have got SAS now and dev dependencies we can we have all of these packages now which is great I'm just going to close that so I'm going to go to the front end directory create a file called create a file called post CSS dot config dot JS okay and I'm going to paste this. So you've got model.export. We are exporting the post CSS import, auto prefixer, tailwind uh, on all of these configurations that we have here. Okay, so I'm going to close that now. Next, let's go to the next.js config. Okay, we also need to add some configuration for the um, next.js. So I'm going to use next config.js next dot next dot config dot js and I'm going to paste this configuration we're just requiring path we're setting the we're setting the trailing slash to false and then we have some web back uh, web web pack configuration here and then we also are including the paths for the uh, SaaS options and we're just giving it a path of style so this is where our SaaS uh, files will reside okay Awesome. Then we have the Tailwind config file. So there are several ways that you can generate it. Either you can just simply create tailwind.config.js or you can go to your terminal and you can pay, you can paste node modules uh, dot bin slash tailwind init. Okay. 
hit enter, it's going to automatically create the Tailwind config file for you. So can you see that it's already created one? And then if you go to your root, you can see that this is the config file here. Yeah? Okay, I'm going to override some of these configurations. So there are some upcoming changes uh, in Tailwind f regarding the purging, etc. So you can check those out over here. Again, I, I won't spend too much time on that. You can read about it. And then we can update the configurations. So for the future, we want all of these to be true. And this is actually the purge options. So there are two places where our JavaScript file will reside. The first one is inside of the source directory. So first, let's create the source directory. So this is source. And then inside of this, we'll have components. So we'll put components. Okay. And then it will also be inside of the pages. So what I'm going to do is I'll pass this path inside of the purge array. So we're saying that go to the source directory, then go to components and any JavaScript files that you find, use that for purging. So what is this purging actually? So take a look over here. Uh, the Tailwind version 1.8.0 introduces a layers purge mode uh, and it purges all the layers like base, components, utility by default. Whereas in the previous one, you know, the default mode only purge the utilities layer. So now you can purge the other ones also. So the beauty of it is that if, for example, like I explained to you earlier, that if you're going to be using only like uh, just a few classes, it's not going to uh, include the CSS for everything. It's just going to include for those classes itself. So that's the that's the advantage. So you get more better performance because your CSS size is not going to get really big. It will be really small because it's only using uh, the styles that are actually consumed by your components. Yep. Awesome. Now next up is next up is the path to the pages. So I'm just going to add that there. So I'll put it here. Now you can see that it's got, uh, we're just saying that any JavaScript file that you see over here, just make sure to add that to the purge as well. All right. Next is the theme. So we'll leave the theme for now. Uh, we'll leave the variant as well, but we do want to add all the plugins that we are going to use uh, for Tailwind. So we're going to use the Tailwind uh, CSS, we're going to use pre-CSS, and we're also going to use the auto prefixer, which is quite useful. Because so it parses, this actually parses the CSS and adds all the vendor prefixes for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And then finally, we just have to create our SAS file. So I'm going to close I'm going to close all of this and then I'll go to my styles directory and I'm going to create I'm going to create a file called styles.scss that's it okay and now all I have to do is just import these three packages which I've done which is base components and utilities all right and then finally all I have to do is just import the this particular path onto the pages and then app.js right and we just need to import it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my styles inside of the source. So I'm going to keep it clean. Okay. And I'm going to go inside of the app and I'm just going to make sure that it's included there. Okay. So you're going back to the source, then going back to styles, and then you have index.css. Okay. Brilliant. Now, uh, what we're going to do is inside of our index.js, inside of the pages, we have index.js. What we're going to do is we'll go to Tailwind and there are certain components available. So if you click on this, click on the browse free samples. Let's take an example of some of the components from here. Scroll down. Maybe we can go with this one. Let's take a code. I'm just going to take a heading, not everything to see how that works. I'm going to delete it, paste it here. And these are all of the classes from the Tailwind CSS. Okay. And hopefully that should work. I'm going to start my development server, npm run dev, and debugger attach, and I started the development server on localhost 3000. And now if you refresh it, there you go, you can see that we've got our content heading. If you inspect element, you can see it's got text large and it's all coming from utility. Yeah. Let me enlarge that for you. 
yeah you've got text large class being applied the color is being applied from utility classes of uh, tailwind you've got leading class you've got font medium all of these base css these are all coming from the utilities that we have added to the index.scss so the tailwind base tailwind components tailwind utilities these are all being taken from there yeah awesome now let me show you something interesting remember we spoke about that we are using this purge and we are passing the path to wherever we're going to use the styles in the tailwind uh, let's see what happens when we build it npm run build and it's running the next build which is basically what is there in the package.json which is what we what happens and then it created the optimize production build compiled it finalized the page optimization you've got app uh, you've got 404 all of the chunks that it has the main.js app.js chunk webpack and there's your CSS. Can you see the size of it? Can you see it's just 1.31 KB? I mean, just think about it. How much would Bootstrap be if you went ahead and used it? Right? So, take a look. If I go... Now, where can you see it, actually? See what happens inside of this file. So, let's go to next.next .next folder. Inside of this, you have static. And you have CSS directory. And open this up. And I'm just going to format it. So I have an option to format on my, I'm going to format it. There you go. So of course you have the basic stuff like HTML, body, HR, and all of that stuff. But where the story begins is basically from, this point, right? So what did we use into our index.js? So take a look. We use the text large, leading six, font medium, text gray 900. Is that what we have here? Text large, leading six, uh, leading six, text gray, font medium. Yep, that's exactly what we have here. And then just a couple more uh, you know, classes. That's it. That's all you have over here, right? Which means it's not really importing all the utility classes. It's only importing the ones that are really required. And this is pretty awesome if you ask me because then the size of my CSS is really low. It only depends on what I'm using and it's only going to output the things that I'm actually using and not everything. It's not going to shove everything for you. Awesome, which is brilliant. So congratulations everyone. We've successfully set up the Tailwind and now in the next video we will continue our development further. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And um, do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And please start my repository like all of the beautiful people have. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.